What's up, everybody? This is Hassan Shabazz coming at you with another video. Our topic today is discipline. This is from Napoleon Hill's Success Principle. This is Success Principle number nine, discipline. As always, if you're new to the channel, right, that you like the video, share the video, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. What is discipline? The single most important attribute to becoming successful is self-discipline. It helps you to stay focused on reaching your goals, gives you the gumption to stick with difficult tasks, and allows you to overcome obstacles and discomfort as you push yourself to new heights. That's Discipline, self-discipline is the single most important attribute to become successful. You have to discipline yourself in the part that is setting goals, having a definite purpose, having a chief aim. All of that is part of having self-discipline. Self-discipline is defined by Webster as the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. The ability to pursue what one thinks is the right despite temptations to abandon it. Now, let's look at this principle number nine, self-discipline, through the eyes of Napoleon Hill. Self-discipline self or self-control means taking possession of your own mind. The power of thought is the only thing over which any human being has complete, unquestionable control. We have the power of self-determination, the ability to choose what our thoughts and actions will be. If you direct your thoughts and control your emotions, you will ordain your destiny, take charge of your life, you are what you think. Direct your thoughts and control your emotions and ordain your destiny. So self-discipline is the key to success. In order to be successful in any endeavor, you have to have discipline. You have to be able to follow the rules the dictates that allow for success in that arena. If you're on a job, you have to follow certain guidelines if you want to keep that job. If you're selling, if you're a salesman, there's a certain discipline to, to selling. So whatever you do, whether it's playing basketball, there's a certain discipline to playing basketball if you, if you want to be successful. Successful basketball players, successful sports figures are more disciplined in their game and their sport than the average person. So discipline is very important. Self-discipline is the key to success in any endeavor. To repeat Napoleon Hill, Napoleon Hill self-discipline or self-control means taking possession of your own mind. That means not giving your mind to those things that will cause you to be unsuccessful. Napoleon Hill also has said that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. So what we we need to we have to put stuff in our minds that will push us toward our goal. If what we're putting in our mind is something that will push us towards our goal, then we'll be successful. Every day we get up and we'll focus on our chief aim. We'll focus on our, def on our destination and we're doing everything we can to get to that def destination. Then we'll discipline. That's part of having self-discipline and that's, guar that's guaranteeing our success. We're laying the foundation for our success. So that means feeding the mind the right things. 
to motivate us. So self-discipline is the most important element toward being successful. And I repeat again, the power of thought is the only thing over which any human being has complete, unquestionable control. We have the power of self-determination, the ability to choose what our thoughts and actions will be. If you direct your thought and control your emotions, you will ordain your destiny. So take charge of your life. You are what you think. You are what you think about all the time. If you're new to the channel, if you like this kind of content, after you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. Remember that your thoughts become action. Meaning that what you put in your mind, that takes form in the physical world. You are what you think about all the time. I am that I am. What I can conceive in my mind and believe I can and I will achieve. So the key statement is that you have to believe what you conceive in your mind. And that takes doing something over and over again. Repetition. Repetition is the bedrock for success. Most people the a wise man, wise, that was a statement by a wise man, a karate master, that says he doesn't fear the thousand moves that you have, but he fears the one move that you have practiced a thousand times. And that's a paraphrase, it's not exactly the way the phrase go, but the gist of it is that what you practice the most, what you have the most training in, that's what you're going to be successful in. So you have to re repeat success thoughts in your mind. Form those thoughts. See yourself doing the, the action that's in your mind. See yourself in the real world. Because your subconscious does not know the difference between fantasy and reality. So you have to convince your subconscious that you are doing what you want to do, that you are achieving the goal that you want to accomplish. So you have to conceive it and then believe it in order to achieve it. So until next time, wishing you luck, success, and prosperity. And luck really is when preparation meets opportunity. So if opportunity comes and you're not prepared, then that then you are not lucky, you're unlucky. So to be lucky, you have to be prepared for the opportunity. So keep preparing yourself. Keep be being keep be becoming more and more prepared. Improve your preparedness every day. So we'll see you on the next video. Peace. We're out.